there's definitely something strange in this neighborhood. Oh, it's certainly safe to walk on the Crimson Ilium, but don't eat the mushrooms. A bell tower has been added to the estate to let my visitors know when it is time to dine upon the blood. Yes, of course before that I feed them the most lavish meals, provided from the most state-of-the-art kitchen in all of Minecraft. Grimgar sees that you haven't subscribed yet, but you best do it now. And don't forget to hit the bell. And apparently I'm a pirate now, I guess. Well, that's certainly enough of the weird voices. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm going to be making fewer videos because, of course, college has started and I need to be studying. It's my senior year. This is my last year to get everything wrapped up. But I'm going to show you what I've been working on for the last few months of summer. And hopefully I'll be able to do more of these videos during the week and keep you all entertained. And hopefully along the way I will also be entertained like when I was just doing that weird pirate voice, an old man, wizard voice, whatever. Vampire. That's the word. Perhaps a necromancer is better. <laughs> Should I keep doing that? Let me know in the comments. Well, first of all, I think that the way that the mushroom trees spawn naturally is a little bit boring and weird. So I decided to modify the biome myself. And I've got these massive stems with warped, uh, weeping warped vines. I can't remember what they're called. You can correct me <laughs> if you want. And lava flowing down this hill into a big ravine that I converted. This used to be an actual just dirt ravine that I converted into a lava river that's just kind of flowing down to the ground. And we did all of that terraforming and all of that growing of big mushrooms to have this pretty, pretty map in my bedroom. Visitors can either yell down from the main courtyard or yell up, hey Grimgar, come out. <laughs> Or they can go through one of these many doors. On the first floor, Grimgar's study. Doesn't look like he's really studying much of anything. There's no book here. <laughs> Every Minecraft wizard has a enchanting table in their home, of course. And seating for guests. As well as extra seating and tabling for more guests. And more books. More books than you could imagine possibly ever read. Oh, there's even more! <laughs> I felt a chill in the library. I might need to stop at the fire for a moment and hang out with my cat over here, Bowie. I don't know if you get the reference here or not, but uh, I found this critter. I found him in the nether, strangely enough, in the hallway to my nether base. Bowie's just helping us protect from any kind of creepers that might be lurking around, literal or figurative. And of course, keeping them from blowing up our beautiful dining room here that we, sh we showed you earlier. And down here is that kitchen that I talked about, the modern kitchen. Uh, one of my favorite things here is the hood vent. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I'm using F1 so that I don't have to show you my entire heads up display. A lot of people ask me what texture packs and resource packs I use and shaders. I'm using Lithos resource pack and the 3D add-on, as well as BSL shaders. After leaving behind the servery and kitchen, we can wander upstairs and see that there's much the same layout on the second floor. And here is my manual storage. Yes, I said manual. Yes, I kind of have a sorting problem. A very, 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 very bad sorting problem. <laughs> Look. It's another Minecraft YouTuber who is much bigger than me. This balcony is my favorite place to perch, and that chorus tree is his favorite place to perch. One day I plan to make these bells chime at a certain time of day, but right now I'm just going to try to hurry up the tour because school is starting tomorrow, like I said, and I gotta go to bed soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your service, kind golem. golem. Well, this is my bedroom and this is the end of the line. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my base. This is not on the main server that I play on. This is on the secondary server called Stonecraft. It's not entirely secondary to me because I spend most of my time here right now. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more updates. I'll show you more about my world. It just kind of hits me to record out of nowhere and I usually forget. So yeah, I think when I'm busier with school that may or may not pan out for me, but you know, oh look, 
I left the, <laughs> the heads up display on. I said I was going to turn that off. Oh well. Well, have a good night, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.